going on, okay? So you're a new shooter, and you want to know, uh, should you go ahead and hit the range with a shot timer? Nah, home slice, hold on just a minute. Slow down. Let's get some basics first before we start getting into the uh, shot timer, all right? So let's talk about it. Everybody ready? Yeah. Sure. Talking about using a, a shot timer on your training when you're a new gun shooter. Uh, new gun shooter. <laughs> new gun owner. But you know what? Just kind of hold your horses. Slow down just a little bit, all right? Uh, shot timers are like the uh, next line. You know, not quite the opening chapter, <laughs> not the, but the next line in your training, all right? So they, they come into play when, when you and, and your gun are in a a committed relationship. You know the ins and out. You know everything about your gun. You know um, if you got a safety on it, uh, you know how to draw and hit that safety when you get it. If you got a hammer, you know whether it's single action, double action, SA, DA. Um, you know about your trigger, every stage of your trigger. Um, when, you, when you present that gun, you can have that. You put the gun out there, you got the... Uh, everything is ready. Everything is perfect. You know your gun in and out okay so that's the basic when you get that part that's when you want to start using the shot timer not before okay let me get this last one out of here so that's what you want to do you don't want to start off with a shot timer you want to kind of get it when you and your gun are in a committed relationship all right you're not cheating so like I'm saying, your, your draw is great. Uh, uh, when you present that gun, like I said, everything's on target. Everything is perfect with you and that gun. Now, you want to start adding a little stress into your relationship with your gun. Now you add the shot time. Now you're ready to fire. So you're trying to get precision and all that stuff in there first. So get precision, get cozy with your gun. Get the fundamentals down pat, all right? So you know you, you got accuracy and precision down pat. Now you're gonna work on speed, all right? So speed introduces a little stress into that, like I said. You got the accuracy down, so the faster you go, maybe the less accurate you'll be, but that's kind of how you'll, you'll work on that. So that's that's when you start adding that shot timer, add a little stress into the relationship. So yeah, so that, that's that's kind of what the, the, the shot timer is for. You're gonna crank up the heat, you know? And it's different things, you can use it to, uh, let you know uh, when to start. You know, you can do a part timer so you can know uh, how long you're gonna shoot for. You can just have it to uh, to shoot and stop, you know, after your shot. That's what I did when the opening shot. I just had uh, uh, five shots in 3.14. I think I did five shots, <laughs> I don't even remember. But you can just set it for like a part, part time, okay. I'm gonna set it for three seconds and then we'll see how many shots I can get up in three seconds. That's where the pressure comes in, um, um, where you're kind of building up and getting, um, adding speed to your accuracy, all right? So that's what you want to do. You don't want to start off with a shot timer. You want to add a shot timer to the mix when you can. And it's usually better to use a shot timer if you're at an outdoor range. A lot of times at the indoor range, it does kind of pick up on other people's shot. I know they got some better shot timers out there. I still got the pack three. I love it. I've been using it for a while. So, you know, if you can get something better, you get it. Nail down your technique. Make sure your shots are hitting the target. Then you add a little stress to the relationship, okay? You're good to go, ladies. You're good to go. So after that, add a little speed to the mix. Challenge yourself. Good shooting. Happy shooting. Great shooting, all right? That might, have made, that might not have made any sense at all. I'll let y'all, I'm going home. I'm out of here, dude. I can't take it, I'm out of here. Wait a minute.